Hey there guys, Master G4 here. It's about that time of the year again. I'm going to be bringing you from an absolute complete Shrek 2 newbie to a beginner Shrek 2 speedrunner. Now I'm not going to go heavily in depth as to how to set up everything. I'm going to go through a really quick run through and then we're going to get right into the game. All right, first things first, here's the Shrek 2 PC leaderboards as they are currently. The first thing you're going to want to do before you even start running the game in the first place is go to resources, come down here, and click this, and this will download this file. Now the reason we're downloading this is to cap our game's FPS to 60. Now obviously if you never run the game you probably don't know the importance of that, but just know it makes the game a lot more consistent and a lot more competitive. And if you want to get an actual good top level run, most likely you're going to be doing it on 60 FPS. While you're here, I also recommend going to download the Russian Voices, which you can do by simply clicking this, then clicking download, and then you can download that file. Right, and the last thing we're going to want to do, now you don't have to do this, but I would still recommend this if you're going to get a little bit serious about speedrunning in this game. Go to the guides and then click on skipping the main menu cutscene. And you're going to see this. As you can see, there's a really quick tutorial here as to how to do this. So we're going to run through this very quickly. So here's my Shrek 2 PC directory. Go into Shrek 2, go into system, cutscenes, type game, and then it'll bring you right here. Double click on this. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of text here. Go back to the page we were just on, highlight all of this down here, copy it, or you can hit Control c on your keyboard, and come here, hit Control a Control v Control s and that will essentially patch this cutscene so that it's instant. In other words, it saves you like 10 seconds uh, each time you have to reset your run. Now that we downloaded that, here's my itch.io page, as you can see. And there's two things here we're going to want to download. We're going to want to download, uh, first off, the Shrek 2 PC configurations that I've made. The reason for this is that the game just simply runs better overall. But it also can make uh, the load remover and live split a little bit more consistent. So I do recommend downloading that. Now come back here. And this right here is the main thing I recommend downloading, Master Tools. Master Tools is the ultimate practice tool, and we're going to be using it throughout the entire video, and it's going to help me show you guys how you can learn this game faster and better. So yeah, simply come down here, click download. All right, so here we are with the files that we've now downloaded, and here's our Shark 2 directory. I've already renamed this uh, from the having a space in the name to having no space in the name. I do recommend doing this because it can fix some potential crashes with master tools. I don't know why that's the case, but but hey, I mean, <laughs> we're playing Shrek 2, so is what it is. All right, first off, we're going to extract this by clicking this and clicking extract all. all right, now go into this folder, go into 60 FPS, and then copy this file. Close that. Go back into your game's directory, go into system, then paste. It's going to ask you to replace a file. Click yes. And now your game is officially patched to 60 FPS and can get verified on the official leaderboards. All right, now let's delete that. And let's do the next step. This one's very easy. Simply copy this or cut it as I'm doing right now. Go into your sounds folder and then paste. It's going to ask you to replace this. Click yes. And now you have the Russian dialogue uh, voice lines uh, throughout the entire game. The reason you're going to want this is because it speeds up your speedrun just a little bit. It's enough of a deal that I would recommend everyone should do that. But yeah, now we've done that. Now let's go back. Now we have uh, the two slightly harder things to do, but it's really not that hard. All right, first off, I need to extract this. All right, so here's the three configuration files. I recommend you pick whichever one you think suits you the most relative to how powerful you think your computer is. Most will do fine with a mid-end configuration, but depending on your computer, you might want a low-end or a high-end configuration. In this particular case, I'm going to be using the mid-end configuration. So copy this, close that, go back into your directory, go into your system folder, and then paste. Now we need to locate this file called default.ini, delete that. Now come down here to the file that we just entered in, rename this to default.ini. Now I'm going to do one tiny little change, for the reason being that there is a little bit of a weird bug where sometimes your inputs will be dropped by the game. It depends on the computer, and mine just happens to have this issue. Most don't have this issue though, but anyway, scroll down to here, and then you're going to see this thing right here, reduce mouse lag. In my configurations, unless you're on the high-end configuration, this is set to false. Now if you set this to true, you're going to lose 30% of your performance which shouldn't really matter if you're already capped to 60 FPS in the first place. If you're playing on uncapped, that's probably a really big deal. But if you're playing on 60 FPS, like you probably are, I would recommend setting this to true and then forgetting about this forever because we don't need to mess with that anymore. On this point, the next link in the description will lead you to a quick video and it'll tell you roughly how to install Master Tools. 
With that all out of the way, it's finally time to beat up- Okay, one final thing, right before we get into it, I know I just tricked y'all, I was like, oh, we're gonna get right into the video. But this is actually very important information that everyone here needs to know before you actually play the game for real. Because your default binds are a little bit not speedrunner friendly, and from day one we basically just change these to be whatever. So, first things first. Uh, see this line of text down here? This is not only here. We use this to change the game's FOV. I set mine to 110. You can set it to whatever you want. The default is 85, so feel free to set this whatever you want. This will be in the description below if you want to copy and paste this. Just simply paste this at the bottom of defuser.ini, and then you're basically good to go. Now from here, there's going to be a f just a few things we want to change. So first order of business, come down here to where it says mouse wheel down equals. Just replace all this because again, these binds don't actually do anything normally in game. To jump, and then replace this with bypass cutscene. These binds are the binds I use for speedrunning, and uh, it is very helpful for when you want to get very competitive at the game. What we've essentially said is that every time we scroll down on our mouse wheel, it's going to jump, and every time we scroll up on the mouse wheel, it's going to try to skip a cutscene. Next, we're going to want to come up here, and uh, as you can see, space currently equals this. Now, there's a slight problem. This right here pulls up the potion menu, which means every single time you hit the space bar, it's going to pull up the potion menu. So remove this. There's no reason to add the potion menu at all in the first place because all the number keys already correspond with whatever potion you're going to throw. So there's absolutely no reason to use the potion menu. And now save the file and we're ready to go. With that all out of the way, it's finally time to boot up the game. You do this by simply running at game.exe. And here we are. As you can see, we are in the game. Now, if you've done all the instructions correctly, this game launched in win and mode for you, which means it's in 1024 by 768. Also means you have access to the console, which you can uh, access by hitting tab on your keyboard. If you want to change the resolution, use the console command set res and then type in whatever resolution you want. So you could do like 1280 by 720, then press enter and it'll just simply change it. Obviously, it doesn't look right in the video. I'm just going to switch right back. Uh, the console has a history to it, by the way. You can hit up and down to go between, like, history. So yeah, I'm going to switch it back to 1024 by 768. Now we're going to actually get into the part where we freaking play the game. But before we start, go into options, video, and you're going to want to make sure this should be set to high no matter what. There's no reason to have this on low. You don't save any time. Nothing changes. It's just dumb. So keep this on high. Object detail must be on low. This cannot be on high. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to follow the same route I'm about to show you. Aside from that, everything else can be whatever you want. 